What's up guys, NBA talk with number three for tonight, and that is the Boston Celtics defeating another team, uh, defeating the Sacramento Kings, which is no surprise, like the Sacramento Kings are a young team with a little bit of veterans in there, like Tempo, like Zach Randolph, George Hill, Vince Carter in there, but they have some young talent like that boy Fox. Uh, Willie Colley Stein, you know, these young talent. It's like it's pretty much a mixture of young and veteran ship in there. But that team is still not a constructed team. So it's no surprise of a loss. Um, this is their sixth straight loss, the Sacramento Kings. And it's the sixth straight win from the Boston Celtics. They lost two games. It, they lost their first two games. Everybody was killing them. Everybody's killing Kyrie Irving. Their sixth straight win. Where are the Cavs now? Where are the Cavs now? They're at the bottom three. They're in the bottom three in the Eastern Conference while the Celtics are number one in the Eastern Conference. The Boston Celtics, like this win will make it six. Uh, 113, Boston Celtics. To Sacramento Kings, 86. Um, Kyrie Irving is being consistent. He's being consistent in his points. He's being consistent in his passing. Uh, Jalen Brown. Uh, he's going for that uh, most improved of the year. Most improved player of the year. He's no doubt going for that. Uh, Jason Tatum is giving you what he got so far. He's still developing. Um, sometimes inconsistent. But you could tell that this guy, can he can score for you. And he was uh, efficient tonight in his scoring. Uh, Al Horford, overall guy, not much in his scoring. He didn't take so much uh, shots, but he was an overall guy. Passing the ball, rebounding the ball, scoring the ball. That's all you can ask for him. And he's doing great. Uh, and then you have the bench doing some good things. Like They scored over more than 30 points, the bench. That's with Marcus Smart, um, Royzer, who put up a good amount of points. You got Nader doing some good things, and you got this guy named Semi or Semi. Um, this power forward, I think they're giving him a lot of minutes. They gave him 22 minutes, and he was doing some good things tonight for this team. And he could spread the floor too. So you got shooters coming off the bench for you, and you got a good team uh, in the starting lineup. And this is without um, Morris, too, who can spread the floor, who can play defense in and out. You're not even full strength yet. You don't have Gordon Hayward there. You don't have Morris there. This team's on a roll. So let's just get into the stats with the Celtics. Um, Kyrie Irving, 22 points, 5 assists, 4 steals. Jalen Brown, 22 points, 6 rebounds, for, uh, an assist. Jalen Brown is just killing it. He he's becoming one of my favorite players on the Celtics Celtics team. Like I really like this dude. Jason Tatum with 12 points was he was four for seven, so he didn't take so many shots. He picked up four rebounds, two assists. You got this guy Bynes, who is he's a good fill up um, big man. Like, at least until Morris comes back, they might end up putting Al Horford. In the center position, which I think he should be in a power four spot, we, because we, I've been hearing for years that he's always wanted to be in a power four spot because he felt like this is his best spot. And honestly, I think that's so too. Like he could do a lot of things for you. Um, Bynes, he picked up nine rebounds, two assists. Al Horford, seven points, seven rebounds, six assists, and a block shot. Yeah, I think Al Horford should be in a center position. No, not in a center position. Power forward, the four. And then maybe Morris come out, play the five. Let's see what happens. Um, the bench, uh, you got Semi with 11 points with three three-pointers tonight. Um, you have Diaz with 10 points, 10 rebounds. You have Nader with seven points. You have Marcus Morris, uh, no, not Marcus Morris, Marcus Smart, eight assists. 
Royzer, 12 points, 48% from the field, 41% from the three-point range, picked up 52 rebounds, 30 assists, 10 steals, and 16 turnovers. But the team is just clicking. The team is clicking right now. They're looking like the, the Golden State Warriors of the East. They really do. They're playing defense. They're like the defense is starting to pick up even more and more and more, holding the Boston, I mean the Kings to 86 points. Anything under 100 is a good defensive team, in my opinion. If you can hold them under 100 points, you're a pretty good team. Um, the Kings, however, like I'm not surprised they don't really haven't developed themselves as a good team. Especially with Marcus Cousins gone, you know. You have Zach Randolph dropping 16 points. Uh, George Hill with 10 points. Um, I'm trying to remember this guy named Fox. Six points in 28 minutes. He also put up six assists. Seven points from um, Buddy Heald. He also picked up seven rebounds, two assists, three steals. I'm not surprised that they beat this team. Uh, this team is not developed yet. They need more time. They're probably not going to win this season. Obviously. Actually, I should say that. And that's pretty much it. Boston Celtics on a roll. 6-2. and 3-1 and one at home. They're killing it. They are really killing it. Six in a row. Six wins in a row. Number one in the East. But, of course... We have to wait until like around all-star break to really confirm they're on a really roll, you know, so peace.